Before getting on the plane to come here, I told the ticket lady send one of my bags to Melbourne, one to Sydney and one to Brisbane. She said she couldn't do that. I'm not sure why she didn't understand because, as I told her, the airline did it for me last week. Anyway, it's good to be back at Adelaide. With me is Matthew Richardson. Thanks, Dan. I'm very excited about tonight's match. The two teams to be mixing it up this evening are Adelaide and the Western Bulldogs. The crowds look tense as they shuffle onto the field. Western Bulldogs running off. Umpire tosses the coin. Adelaide winning the toss. This match sees one team from within the eight go up against one outside the eight. In the minds of many, I guess, the result of this match is already decided. I can't wait for this match to get underway. I've had sleepless nights dreaming about this clash. Here's the opening bounce. I play in the over 60s football league. We don't have ball ups. The ump just puts the ball on the ground and whoever can bend down and pick it up gets the first possession. He's got the football now. He has the ball. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. He has space for an easy mark. Hand passes. Liberatore holding, holding the, the ball. ball as he's collected by Gore. Play on is the order from the ump. Amazing specky by Dalhouse. Sends it on its way. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. Wayward with a kick. Liberatore holds his breath. Point the difference. Talia gets set to kick it back in. Hardigan with the football. Liberatore gets the ball. Great assist by Atkins. Squeezes out a handball. The advantage is played. Passed by Cloak. Ruffhead has his head down now. He can't close the deal. And it's a point. The Western Bulldogs by two points. Talia waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. Liberatore with the ball. Penetrating hand pass. Picken making his way in. Let's hope he's compensated for the win. The Bulldogs by three points. Talia will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Atkins puts it on the boot. And the mark will be paid. Kick by Crouch. Solid catch. He kicks the ball. Gore catches it. Sending it on its way. What a beauty of a screamer. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. He wins the contest. Dalhouse sends the ball on its way. Takes it well. Gort sends one up towards the wing. He wins the contest. 
That drop punt works well for Quantum Pelly. Smith, a good drummer. He collects the loose ball. He's holding the ball. Sends the Sharon on its way. Caught by Gould. Hastily kicked. And the mark will be paid. Ruffhead slams it on the boot. He wins the contest. Keeps it close to the ground. Quantum Pelly ran to meet the ball and took the mark superbly. Gives it to Liberatore. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. The ball is stuck towards goal by Smith. He really should have made more of that. Just a few points the difference. Talia got a really good football in Brian. Liberatore takes the opportunity, puts boot to ball. It's a mark, he steadies now in front of goal. He handballs it. Liberatore with the shot, that miss is going to come back to haunt him. The Bulldogs by five points. He's searching for his teammates. He has no trouble grabbing that one. Horrible kick by Liberatore. Intercepted. Talia runs past and gets the ball. That's just giving the ball away. Finding the running player. Puts boot to ball. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Gore has got all the makings required to become a great servant of this football club. I reckon he could become a 200 game player. Puts boot to ball. Hardigan by hand. Cloak gets the intercept. Smith going for home. The ball is gathered. Puts boot to ball. No one around troubling him there. Liberatore setting his sights on the goals. 40 metres from home. Going for goal number one. It's in the air. Nice goal from Liberatore. Goal. That's the first one of the game. The nice bounce. Despite the Western Bulldogs losing the hitouts, their mids are good enough to know where the Crows Gruffman are placing it and are getting first use of the ball. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Stringer receives the hand pass. Straight into the post. It's the Bulldogs with the lead over the Crows. Talia waiting for the man to free up. Cloak with the pickup. Picking with the football. Wood picks up the loose ball. McCray feeds the hand pass out. Ruffhead put his head down, running for home. Almost, but not quite. The Western Bulldogs with the advantage as they lead the Crows 13 to 0. Talia has just got a lot of tricks in the bag which makes him so very hard to stop. He's also got an amazing highlight reel. Picken just couldn't hold on as the ball is punched away. Rough head receives the hand pass. The ball crosses the line and the ball goes out of bounds. Slams it on the boot. Able to grab it on the half volley. We'll have the ball up inside the 50. Jacobs got a fist on it. The loose ball picked up by Clark. Bontem Pelly collects. Too slow with the handball. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Puts the head down as he runs in. A goal for the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs fight 19. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The bounce is straight as an arrow. Big thump from Roughhead. Dalhouse with the ball. The bigger the shot, the bigger the love. And that's the end of the first two. Western Bulldogs, 19, took the Crows, nothing. Well, they're still in it, but they need something to ignite them in this last quarter. They can't expect their opposition to hand it to them. Richo, how did you see the opening quarter? 
Well, they're still in it, but they need something to ignite them in this last quarter. They can't expect their opposition to hand it to them. Retro, now with his stance. Neither team are giving an inch in the terms of marking. The Bulldogs on 12 and Adelaide on 8. The Bulldogs way out in front of Adelaide with the possessions. 68% next to their name. Not a lot of difference in the tackling stats. The Crows are slightly ahead with 10 to 7. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richard. The second quarter has begun. Winning means you're willing to go longer, work harder and give more than anyone else. Nicely intercepted by Johannesson. The spilled ball is collected. Booted by Gore. Caught by Cameron. Goes by hand. Perfect kick. Cameron sinking his first goal. Adelaide slot their first one. Umpire has the ball. Ready for the centre bounce. Clean tap by Roughhead. Goes short for the hand pass. Not sure what he was trying to attempt there, but the ball has changed possession. Bontem Pelly hand passes it. Intercepted by Baholke. Dalhouse puts his head down and runs in. A great effort. Don't take too long lining up the goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. Jacobs turns it. The Crows just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. Stringer with the mark. He boots it. He picks it up. A lot of possessions for him. Collected by Roughhead. Jacobs has the ball. He's really a ball magnet. Is in his possession. Tackle, but gets the handball off. Pick up by Betts. The ball is slammed towards goal by Betts. That's two in a row for the Crows. The Crows trailing, but they can still easily catch up from here. The Crows have been really predictable out there. They need to mix it up, break the line, start taking more of a chance, or this game will be lost. Umpire not hesitating to call the ball up right there. Jacobs is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Roughhead. Gore onto the ball. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. Jenkins with the mark. 65 metres out. Nice drop punt. He picks up the loose ball. He takes control of the loose ball. Atkins presents and takes the mark. He gets boot to the ball. Bonton Pelly gets it off the ground. Interception. It's intercepted. Nice interception. Jacobs with handball. He runs into the goal. Jacobs goes for goal. Goal for Adelaide. Adelaide can still catch up here. They're less than a goal down. The Rucks can't complain about that true bounce. Big thump from Jacobs. Gains possession. Liberatore intercepts it. Gets boot to high. Cloak laps up the misplaced footy. It's his. Smith going for number one. The Bulldogs by seven points. All is in readiness. Here's the bounce. Jacobs with the mighty fist. Crouch gets the ball out of the pack. And he's heading for home. Adelaide get the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. Lynch gets the important kick. Adelaide is down by less than a kick. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Umpire bounces the ball. Claimed by Roughhead. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Gork receives it from Atkins. Kicks it. He collects the loose ball. Hardigan goes back to collect the ball. A free kick and several ticks. Gets boot to high. A great effort. Jacobs is incredibly competitive and you can count on the fact that if he makes a mistake, apart from being dirty on himself, you won't see another one for a long, long time. What are you doing, son? Cramery going for home. Straight into the woodwork. I reckon he's a little bit unlucky there. The Western Bulldogs are on top of Adelaide. Talia looking for a lead. Mark by Liberatore. He gets boot to the ball. The loose ball picked up by Cardigan. 
Intercepted by Clo. Going for goal number one. Tantalizingly close. Behind starting to add up. Put the Western Bulldogs. Might have to kick it to himself. Liberatore alone for the uncontested mark. He runs into the goal. Talia has it. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Lining up the goal now. Kicked by Pippen. No one troubling him there. Opportunity for Liberatore. He'll need a long-range boomer from here. Almost in the bag from this position, you would think. A goal for the Bulldogs. We'll be happy with goal number two. Liberatore has got a habit of pulling it out when it matters most. Oh, that's just sick. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Guided by Roughhead. He has the ball. Dalhouse onto the ball. And he's heading for home. The contest, no match for him. And create the massive kick off the boot. The ball spills to Smith. Crouch with the bump. He threaded the needle to get the handball out. Smith was taken high. Smith boots it. Nice mark there. Gore picks it. Bottom belly. Making life hard for Crouch. He mightn't be taking them often himself, but he's always getting a fist in the way of the opposition. Roberts. Handballs to the man on the move. The mark will be paid. He gets boot to the ball. Jacobs takes the uncontested mark. He boots it. He takes the contested mark. Goes towards half forward. Marks. McCabe lines it up. Shot by McKay. The ball mopped up. Atkins receives the ball as he's streaming past. So close, but just to behind. The Crows trailing by less than two goals. Morris assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Gore being paid a free there. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. He's driven that ball hard, but it's a miss. Adelaide, no need to worry just yet. Morris has improved his hands to a point now that he can release players from tight pack situations. Gork marks it. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. He kicks the ball. He hand passes it. Players with the one-two. He boots it. Laird has the ball. Ends possession. I haven't seen him for a while, Richard. Yeah, he's had a really indifferent game out there. His first possession. The Bulldogs are in the lead by seven, coming out for the second quarter. How you respond to the challenge in the second half will determine what you become after the game, whether you're a winner or a loser. Is there anything interesting in the stats, Richard? The Western Bulldogs are dominating the scoreboard, but their stats don't reflect it. Hmm, that's pretty deep, Richo. Well, I hope you enjoyed that first half. Back soon with half number two. The crowd anxious. Let's get into the second half. You can motivate by fear and you can motivate by reward. But both those methods are only temporary. The only lasting thing is self-motivation. A favourable bounce. Cloak kicking the ball free of the pack. Liberatore with the mark. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Liberatore takes aim for goals. What a huge goal by Liberatore. Three goals so far. Well done. Well, they've stemmed the flow with that goal, but they need to carry that momentum on if they're going to avoid the floodgates bursting. Liberatore will want to try and wheel around onto his favourite foot, but he's still very capable on the other. The ball in the hands of Jenkins. The ball is hammered towards goal by Jenkins. The kick just clears the line for a goal. The Crows won't be too nervous yet. They can still turn this around. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Jacobs hits it. He gets his hands on the footy and he's heading for home. That was all for McGovern. He decides to play on. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. He's kicking on about a 30 degree angle, which could prove challenging. His aim was just on. Adelaide won't be too nervous yet. They can still turn this around. 
Tavares looking for a lead. Mark by Pickham. Pickham seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. Liberatore with a strong mark. He slams that on the boot. Rough head, collects it. He gathers the ball. Hardigan scoops it up. Gore with the ball. Even under extreme pressure, he's got the handball out. He's got the ball out even when being tackled. McKay marks the ball. McKay feeds it wide. Nice mark under pressure. Good drop hunt by Quantum Pelly. Strong mark. Sends it on its way. Caught by Gore. Sends it on its way. Strong mark by McGovern. It's good to weather. Takes that one strongly. Gork's got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him, but he just needs to react a little faster. Hicken kicks the ball. He hand passes it. Guided down nicely by Ruffhead. Liberatore throws the ball. Free kick. A powerful kick from Crouch. Amazing elevation. His hair is going to need the frosting. Kicks it. A great effort. Jacobs, just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Strong mark there. He slams that on the boot. Dalhouse with the catch. He kicks the ball. He marks the ball. Smith lines up. He slams that on the boot. That's a nice strong mark. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. 50 metres out. Kick the goal by Liberatore. Goal to the Western Bulldogs. Liberatore could a sigh of relief. You can see it on his face as he nails a crucial goal. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Getting beaten in the ruck is a real recipe for disaster and could potentially lose this game for Adelaide. Quick hands finding the running player. Liberatore putting his head down as he runs in. He gets the ball. They may have no option but to kick it long up the middle right here. He sneaks away for an uncontested man. Liberatore takes a shot. He's had lots of touches this match. Atkins saw the running player and quickly sent the handball his way. Approaching the goals now. The ball is hammered towards goal by Liberatore. The Western Bulldogs starting to exert some dominance over Adelaide with the lead of 47 to 33. He's looking for options now. Takes the mark all by himself. Liberatore is very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you like. The defence are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult. So I'd suggest he takes his time and just looks for the right option. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That is the pill. Handballs. Jacobs again, Richard. He seems to always be in the contest, Dennis. Boyd passes. A 1-2. They've conceded possession. Smith takes it well. He spears the ball. Gore couldn't complete the mark. String it with the bump. Unfortunately, placed ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. He controls the bouncing ball. Hits the running man. Quick hands allows him to get that one off in time. Bontempelli with a gigantic kick. Great mark. Smith boots it. A great effort. Hunter drilled that kick in. Strong mark. Choose to kick it. Nice mark there. McKay spears the ball. He has no trouble grabbing that one. Gore has to stay committed. Then with a little bit of guts and determination, he should make something of his career. Bontempelli with the mark. He gets boot to the ball. The mark will be paid. Hunter kicks. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Works it across the ground. 
Jacobs presents and takes the nine. Jacobs feeds it wide. Pahoki marks. He spears the ball. Takes it well. Looks like he panicked there. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. Liberatore holding the ball as he's collected by Jacobs. Jacobs getting into position for the kick. 40 meters from home. Jacobs aiming for the goals. It's hit the post. It's the home. The Crows needs three goals to get back in this. We look for a quick option here. A pinpoint pass is the key. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. The, the Bulldogs lead at the end of the term by 14. If the Bulldogs can maintain their structures and continue playing on their terms, then this game is a foregone conclusion. So it's just about the last roll of the dice if the Crows contend to make any inroads to this deficit. Let's go to the stat sheet now and see how the players perform. The stats show that both teams are practically kick for kick, with neither willing to let the other have a kicking advantage. The Bulldogs think the Crows are very level on the possession count, which reflects the evenness of this contest. Cheers, Richard. It's almost over now. You're never a loser until you quit trying. Punch by Jacobs. Paholke picks up the bouncing ball. Crouch clearly doesn't get enough attention. He picks up the loose ball. Picked up the ball. He picked it up off the ground. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. Nice work from Jenkins. That's his second. Well, they nailed that badly needed goal. Can they shift momentum back in their favour? Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The ball has been bounced. Jacobs has the passion for this game, and that shines through every time he plays. Morris intercepts the bouncing ball. He gets the hand pass. Sending it on its way. Good mark. Slams it on the boot. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Dalhouse gets the hand pass. She's running hot, Richard. Yes, he's giving 100% right now. Fix it. Laird presents and takes the ball. Sends the Sharon on its way. Marked by McKay. Hastily kicked. Taken by Stringer. Kicks it across the ground. Travery grabs that one. Lobs the handball. Takes control of the bouncing ball, finding the running player. Nice goal from Kramer. Good goal for the Western Bulldogs. The Western Bulldogs with the advantage as they lead the Crows 54 to 40. The Western Bulldogs could just playing kick to kick out there and have barely had to crumb a loose ball in the forward line. Chips it down towards half forward. He has clearly been shopping at Clang as a Russ. Cloak kicked the ball as though it was three pounds of haggis. The Bulldogs by 15 points. Talia is just such a great kick that he doesn't have to have many possessions to tear a side apart. Put the ball in his hands and he'll hit your lace out every time. Great move to be able to work into an uncontested position. Great hands. Primary lining up with the goals. Quote, marks the ball. He handballs it. Goal. They're starting to stamp their dominance on this game. The Bulldogs have scored the last two goals. The Bulldogs with a handy break, leading the Crows 61 to 40. Jacobs knocks it down the field. Handballs out into space. She's running hot, Richard. Yes, super work from him in this match, Dennis. Hands like Democrats. A cool, calm head, clearing it out of defense. Lining up the goal now. Cloak gives the ball to the man on the run. In the back. They should dust him for fingerprints. Cloak hammers the ball for goal. The Bulldogs get the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. That's three in a row for the Western Bulldogs. The Western Bulldogs in front. The Western Bulldogs could just playing kick to kick out there and have barely had to crumb a loose ball in the forward line. He gains possession. Gork has had plenty of it, Richard. I can't believe it, Dennis. He just keeps surprising us up here in the commentary box. Wood marks. Wood seems to go for that extra leverage off an opponent by propping his hands on their shoulders. 
He won't get pinged every time, but he will have to be careful with his technique not to get caught for hands in the back. Roberts intercepted that well. Jenkins gets the loose ball. Morris gets possession. Boyd with the ball. Walker running in about to kick. Johannesson collects it. He gets the hand pass. He boots it. Rough it. Ah. Here's a long kick. Smith picks it up. Liberatore gets the ball. He's running hot with you. He's been outstanding all match, John. The Western Bulldogs could score the last four goals. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Ruffhead punches it. Paholke on the ball at the moment. The ball spills to Hardigan. Atkins gets it cleanly across to Gore. Nicely intercepted by Jacobs. Kicks. And the mark will be paid. Adelaide just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. Walker mops up the ball. Roberts smashed him into the turf. Gore gets the intercept. Johannesson cuts off the ball. Chips it down towards half forward. Yet his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. 40 to design. Boyd going for number one. Chalk up a goal for the Western Bulldogs. The lead has been increased by Boyd. The Western Bulldogs have scored the last five goals. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Guided by Jacobs. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Ruffhead is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Jacobs. With the ball now. Dalhouse has the ball. Gains possession. He runs for home. He's running hot, Richard. Well, Dennis, I just think he's having fun with them now. The Western Bulldogs have run to their tally. Liberatore gets number six. That's six in a row for the Bulldogs. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Jenkins really gets onto this one. It's no wonder the Bulldogs are leading. They're playing smart footy and they've been careful not to hand over unnecessary free kicks. Rough head tackles him to the ground. Hardigan gathers the ball. Liberatore <coughs> picks it up. Cloak picks it up. He runs into the goal. There's no contest for that one. Camry with the shot. Jeez. Poor, poor kicking. The Bulldogs lead. And has a few options. Liberatore takes the mark uncontested. Liberatore aiming for the goals. Nice hands. Slams it on the boot. Not too long to go before the end of this match. Nice mark there. Quick hands find the running player. Who has clearly been shopping at Clangers or us. Jenkins is streaming past and gets the footy. Ruffhead gets holding his man ball. holding the ball. He'll get the free. The Crows were punished. Richard, did you enjoy the matchup between the Western Bulldogs and the Crows? It was all over early in the match. And right thing, Richard. The Western Bulldogs could claim the match with a final score of 86 to 40. That's it for us. I will see you again, but not yet. Not